Hello everybody, how we doing, how we doing? My name is Quantic Flux, and today we're going to be checking out the 1.0 release of Sears Gambit a bit early. Uh, it comes out on the 18th of November. Big thanks to Unleash the Giraffe for sending a key my way. And this is a game that I have a lot of fun with. I've covered it a couple times on my channel, and now it's finally coming out into 1.0. I've been putting a lot of time into it uh, off camera, and uh, I've been having a blast. It is a tactical auto battler roguelite. And it's really neat. So without further ado, why don't we head on in and check it out? Uh, I haven't gotten to a second tavern yet, but at the beginning, you choose which tavern you want to start from. And the map persists between um, between your runs. Looks like we got to go to the south. So the way that this game works is you've got seven days to get... Uh, you've got seven days to do things, I guess I should put it. So you can see that I have progress the map which stays uh you slowly reveal it as you move around uh but each map node is where you get the meta progress i said it's a rogue light um so you can see here i've unlocked both of these so we have an increase of 30 percent armor and uh yeah so there's things on the map uh all over the place where you want to be going so the first mission was to get over here you don't exactly know where you're supposed to be going. Like, it'll give you a little hint, like you saw on the bottom left there. But I had to go over here and fight, and it was hard. And uh, now we have to go somewhere in the south. I don't know if it's here. Kind of looks like it might be, but uh, I'm not 100% positive. But I think we're fighting undead now. But yeah, my only clue is go to south. Go, go to the south. So uh, let's do that, I suppose. Um, so we'll head here. I see a little squid tentacle. By the way, the, the background in this game, great. I'm going to tip that cow over. Sorry, cow. Uh, but there's, there's all sorts of stuff to click. It's a very cute looking game. I love the pixel art. And I love that there's stuff to do. Uh, we got absolutely torched by our first selection. Didn't get any rare units. And that's a big old bummer. But let's see who we're starting with. We're starting with Rosa the Red. I'm going to turn this on because I don't want to control their ultimates. Uh, let's see. Rosa has Wisp Missile. Rosa fires a missile which flies erratically. When it lands, a Wisp is created. At long range, you target closest for 10 to 18 damage creates a Wisp with a 2.5 second cooldown. Okay, great. Uh, Rosa unleashes a colossal ball of magical energy, blasting everyone to smithereens. Okay. Long range, you, clo you target closest with area of effect. It applies knockback. 15 second cooldown. Okay. And your ultimate says each wisp zips towards an enemy detonating on impact okay each wisp targets closest for 22 to 39 so you're basically like summoning things that then explode uh there's an auto chess style system where each unit has symbols that they represent and um they combine to unlock new effects for your units so you definitely want to make a synergistic party Looks like we've got like an explosion and also a book. Uh, and then each unit has skill trees. The rarer the unit, the further in this tree you can get. So it's pretty important to have epic units where you can. Uh, but I like to choose where we're going based on this row of powers because they're like unique and not just status buffs. On Wisp created, 25% chance to gain one ability power permanently. Seems pretty strong. Party wide, all spellcasters gain. Uh, minus 20% attack. I'm pretty sure spellcasters are... Ooh, I was wrong. I guess they're the books. Um, all area of effect gains 50% ultimate power. Okay, so anyone that has an area of effect gains ultimate power. I think I like the wisp creation. So I think we go minus attack cooldown. Because every time we attack, we have a chance to make a wisp, right? No, we just make a wisp every time we attack. So, okay. So every time we attack... We make a Wisp, and then we have a 25% chance to gain more ability power. Keep strong. Okay, and what are you looking for? You're looking for explosions, hearts, books, fire, keys. You're looking for all sorts of stuff. Your fire. Your royal. Did I care about that? I that down here. And your shield. Shield we don't care about at all. I tell you what, I'm going to go with Claudia. Welcome to the team, Claudia. Claudia is a unit I had to unlock. Um, her whole thing is that she's like half damage, half healer, and she sends this cloud out to do stuff. 
So let's continue on. I don't see any cats to pet, and that makes me sad. Increase the speed as well. All right, we're going into our first fight. We don't have any tanks, which is a bummer. Buddy is kind of our healer, though, so let's put her back there. Two enemies over here, not a huge deal. All right. Wow, we cooked them. Easy dub. <laughs> That's anger and old man. Any of you other guys do stuff? No? All right, Mr. Cat Chest. What do we got? You increase the cooldown of our attack, but add a bunch of damage and health. Um, Definitely don't want that on Rosa. So I guess we'll put that on Claudia for now. Make her toggle her ultimate. What do you do? You hurl a piece of solid cloud at the opponent. At short range, you target closest for 27 to 53. That's a lot of damage. Holy. Tells her cloud to come down, making the cloud release lightning. Okay. Every effect, six second cooldown. And then her ultimate, I believe, heals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long range, your pet cloud targets the lowest health ally and applies heal over time. Okay, great. We've seen no cats to pet, and I'm, I'm getting sad about it. Give me a cat to pet, please. Uh, okay. Terrible group. Still no rares. Hate it. Upset. Let's see. What are we working towards on you? We need a key and or faith. So thief or faith. You're f not faith somehow. None of you are helpful to me. So let's see what we're working towards next. Um... Nothing, nothing. So I guess I'll grab Duchess Gloria, who is a healer. We've got a dedicated healer now. I know this crystal you can click to make it like look like it's going to explode. It doesn't, though. <laughs> Which I guess is good, since it's surrounded by children. Um. Okay. Let's make sure that she has her ultimate. She's pretty much just a healer. Um... I like the druid healer better, to be honest, because she also does damage. But that's okay. I'll ha I'm happy to have, uh, what's her face? Mighty Stat Stick. <laughs> uh, it's got cooldown, attack cooldown minus, so let's put that on Rosa, since she wants to be making wisps. Uh, Wandering Priest offers her services to the party. She refuses to say what god she serves. Her blessings come with a steep price. That's not suspicious at all. Um, we don't have any money to do the bottom two, so we're going to take a free party-wide six max health. Thank you. I cannot believe we haven't seen a single cat to pet. It's crazy. It's criminal. I don't like it. I want cats. Oh, boy. We definitely need a tankier unit. <laughs> Uh, I tell you what, the game gets pretty hard once you get a few uh, few maps in. Trust me on that one. Uh, okay. Buddy, you get in front. You're slightly less important. Eat him. Rosa is kind of almost exclusively all of our damage. Pretty sure. We'll take a look at the stats just to confirm that, but I'm I'm pretty sure. What do we got? Minus ability cooldown. When abilities used, throw a dart for 10% of ability damage. Okay. Your ability is to heal. We love that. Oh, yeah. Rosa's cooking on damage. Who's healing the most? Surprisingly, Claudia. Gloria, you're, um... You're not doing much, are you? Uh, heal 1% health per second. You got more health and movement speed. That's fine and all, but I have to be honest. Uh, we have no freaking rare units. So I think I'm going to save my money for rerolls. This altar radiates strength and power. Great sacrifices have been made here. Okay. It's not permanent, and that's a big old bummer. But we'll take a 10 second empowerment. Why not? Ooh, cat. <laughs> Ooh, more cats. Hello, cats. I love you. Okay. 
Uh, make the old man angry. <laughs> All right, here we go. I mean, it's going well so far. On heal, add three to four percent of attack power. Hmm. I tell you what, I think I like that better than the battle axe. For you. So let's sell it. Get out of here. And let's continue on. Hmm. Uh, let's do this. Snail's going to charge into us. Rude. But I think it's fine. The first map is uh, pretty much a gimme, I think. Uh, we'll give this EXP potion to our only unit that I'm likely to keep. Now we level up. Uh, I said that I wanted to do minus attack cooldown. Because the faster she's attacking, once she gets this, the more likely she is to get ability power. And, uh, yeah. That's what we want. So, we will focus on that. Onwards. Okay. You're now a leaf and fire? It's not... Not hugely helpful to me. Because you don't care about leaves. Dare I re-roll and get rid of a rare unit? Probably not a smart idea. Hmm. We do need fire, though. I tell you what. Claudia, hop in the party. And other Claudia, you're unnoticed, my friend. You are, uh, you're getting thrown out as soon as I need to. Um, any fun people to click? No, I don't, I don't I see an old lady at times. Okay. This is looking fine. Damagey? Well, no. Alright. Let's, uh, do that. Okay, I mean, so far, so good. I think disaster is in our future. Who, who Which Claudia are you? The uh, one I don't care about. I mean, the more you attack, the faster you get your ultimate stacks, I believe. Ultimate charge increases by one with each attack or damage taken. Yeah, so let's just make your attack cooldown shorter. Seems fine. Um, it's pretty cool. When any ally crits, heal all allies for 2% of their maximum health. That's also very good. I don't think we have any crit, though. And honestly, I think we should save our money for rerolls. All right. Moving on. Hello, demon. The demon approaches you with some tempting offers. His gifts are free, and so are the compliments of your curses. Nice. Party White is blind for 10 seconds, but we get 100 gold. Full heal I could not care less about. And a temporary buff? Who cares? I'll take the 100 gold. Sure. Blind means we miss with all of our attacks for 10 seconds, so this could get, uh, get hairy. Do something like this. Okay, I mean, it seems to be going fine. Again, I think the first map is just, uh, a gimme. All right, let's keep buffing up Rosa. We want to get her to the point where she can start getting, um... The chance to proc her ability powers. Yeah. <laughs> cool cat. Love it. Okay, first map done. Easy dub. Tuesday. As I said, you only have seven days to do anything before the world ends. So you kind of have to get where you can go. Hope you made some good decisions. And then uh, move on from there. Move on to this map. I've never been here before. This, so this should uh, reveal some new part of the map. Who are you? Ah, I unlocked the ability to get this guy, but I've never used him before. You are a merchant? Okay. What do you do? Party wide 10 crit. Requires executioner. That's the sword symbol. Uncrit executioner gains 10% damage until combat is over. Uh, meh. Ability randomly applies bleed on enemy for attack power 13 to 15, 10 seconds. Hmm. 
I guess I don't care about you that much. When an enemy takes bleed uh, from ultimate, there's a 100% chance to gain ma two max health permanently. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I guess bleed is how I would take you if I was going to. I think we're going to reroll here, though. Hello, crab. Did you do anything? No? Can I destroy these sandcastles? Pretty mean, but uh, I'll try. <laughs> okay, let's let's re-roll here. Meh. Okay. Rare unit. You are an executioner and a crowd control. Do I care about that? Um no. And kinda. I don't know. Do we roll past it's he's not good for our synergies though. Uh, I regret. Okay. Book and shield. Book helpful. Shield not so much. What's helpful for you, kinda? We'll take you. You're also tanky. Ice to meet you. Thank you. Ice Merelda. Happy to have you. Ice Merelda is an interesting unit. Her attack is long range, but her ability is melee, and so is her ultimate. They're kind of AoEs, though. But yeah, she wants to be in the front for sure. I like the little uh, seaside stuff. We've never been to a seaside map at the cat. Ice Morella, get in front, please. All right. I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, the I think the sound effects might be a little bit too loud at the moment. I'm going to... I'm going to turn those down and turn up the music. Um, I also forgot what I was trying to say. Try that out. Oh, I was going to say, I think the... Um, the party size is 6 maximum, if I remember correctly. So we should have one more slot left. At the cat again. Love the cat. Oop. I reset the speed. Okay. Terrible. Not good. We have one reroll. Tip the cow. Sorry, Tao. I unlocked a cow hero for tipping a bunch of cows. Spoiler alert. But uh, I haven't seen one yet. At the cat. Okay. Another Rosa. I guess we could. Okay. We unlocked the passive. For every enemy caught in an ability explosion, add another wisp. Ooh. Kind of fun. Okay. Um, I don't like that we have two of the same character, but here we are. Our party is, like, not good. <laughs> I've made bad decisions about our party composition, for sure. Okay, Ice Morald is dead. It's not ideal, but uh, she'll come back with one health. She's going to be the tank. We definitely have to get her tank items. Legends say that this hollowed place was grown, not built, from a single seed gifted by a nature deity to a mortal who had shown them great kindness. Okay. We're applying bleed to herself, meaning Ice Morel is dead instantly. Um, I think we're cooked. Oh boy. I think we're in trouble. Ice Merald is going to die instantly. Oh, she got healed before she could die from bleed. Love that. There's like one sound effect that I keep hearing that's much louder than the rest, and I can't tell where it's coming from. Uh, minus 39 health and 52 armor gives yourself 5 crit and ultimate power on kill. Gain and power doubling damage of hero for one attack. Um, That's not good. I'll put it on Rosa number 2, but I think it's a bad idea, to be honest. Such as Gloria. On heal, add 3 to 7 bonus health. Sure. You're the healer, so please heal. And Ice Morelda, you get out front. 
Claudius, you chill here too. And then you guys, mid-range. Is it Claudia's ability that's making that noise? We're dying horribly, by the way. Okay, we made it, but <laughs> the <laughs> the signs of the run dying are starting to show for sure. Give armor to our tank. Okay. Um, I mean, that's pretty good. Hello, cat. Open the chest. A lot of chests to open. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that does anything. Oh my god. Put that back. <laughs> um okay. I don't I wish I could, could afford this, man. I shouldn't have re-rolled all my stuff away. I'll tell you what though, I'm gonna save my money for more re-rolls. A wandering priest offers us services. We saw this. All defenders gain 39 health. I think we only have one defender, so pass. All right. I think we're dying real soon. Be quite frank. See what we can do there. Ooh, it's... It's not looking good. Oh, yeah, we're dead. We're so dead. Rip. Okay. We'll try again. Shave the world? Sure, we'll try. My visions have revealed a disturbance at the intrusion to the south. Make haste and investigate. You call the intrusion? Are you called an intrusion? No. Okay, I mean... I don't know where to go. And that's kind of the part of the fun of the game. You have to... Um, you have to explore and figure out what you're meant to be doing. I don't think I can afford any of the Metabrogus updates. Uh, I didn't get very far. There's an inn up here, a new starting location. If you can beat this, but it's pretty hard. And also, we're supposed to be going south, so it's not, not really on my way. Uh, I tell you what, why don't we go down this way? I don't know if it's the correct way, but we'll try. And this time we get a thief. And still no rare unit. I hate it. <laughs> Turn that on. Let's see. Fingers the thief definitely inserts a dagger into an enemy multiple times. In melee, you target closest for 24 to 30. Or sorry, 43. With a 2.5 second cooldown. Okay. Blinds an opponent. In melee, apply blind in an area of an effect. Pretty good. Calls his obligation elsewhere, instantly teleporting <laughs> behind the farthest enemy. Okay. Nothing personnel, kid. All right. And what do you like? You like explosions, crowns, and swords. I hate you guys. <laughs> I guess you kind of care about the leaf, and I do like the druid as a healer. At the cat. Make the old man angry. Move some hay. Just for fun. And move on. Okay. Fingers, you're the tank. Let's turn on ultimate. Druid's pretty good. Her normal attack um, isn't super strong, but you can upgrade it to do poison. I had a pretty busted run where I had a uh, an Ultra Omega Rare, Gold, whatever the hell, Druid. And uh, she was pretty cool. Uh, this seems good for figures. Okay, you're screwing me here with your not very rare units. Um, Lail Lady is definitely a crown. She has a heal. However, you're Fiona, right? Flora, Flora. Flora's pretty strong and also works towards this. So let's grab Flora. Flora also has an ultimate that teleports her around, so I, I don't feel great about Blossom's chances for survival. Moving on. All right, Fingers and Flora, you get out front. Blossom is blinded. Ripper Rooney. Okay. Going pretty well. Nice. We got... Pretty good. 
Uh, we'll toss that on our healer. Sure. Take the temporary empowerment. Get out of here, nerds. Flora's ultimate is so good. Her third level ability as well. Uh, one of them. You can make it so every time she kills with the ultimate, she gets more ultimate power. And I think her ultimate refunds on a kill, so it's like, it's pretty busted. All right, cook them. What do we got? Critical thinking cap, 26 armor, seven crit. I mean, we'll put that on Flora, why not? Not exactly an item for her. Um, I think I want to save my money for rerolls. As for her blessing, thank you. Uh-oh, they're starting behind us. Why don't we do something like that? Okay, Blossom is in trouble. I mean, she seems to be doing fine. Yeah, Blossom's healing herself pretty good. Okay, worked out great. What do we got? 65 armor on attack, 2% chance to repair, 100% of your max armor. I don't know that I care about that. Yeah, these two synergize. This gives us crit. This says whenever an ally crits, heal. So let's leave that behind. Quality of life. Love it. They uh, automatically sell it for you. Okay. Seems to be going pretty well. Moving on. Oh my god. You gotta stop giving me trash units. At the cat for good luck. Okay. Esmeralda, do you help me in any way? Your shield book. I hate it. <laughs> um, what are you? Merchant? Another leaf? I don't care. Shield hat. Don't care about hats or shields, dude. Come on. Your fire, your book. It just doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. At least we have a tank, though. Let's, uh... Activate your ultimate. And let's take the armor item. Put it on you. Pet the cat again. Alright, sir. Get out front, please. Something like that. Flora is cooking. What's your name, by the way, dude? Canther. Gallant Canther. Alright. I think we keep giving EXP to fingers. Level up before we go. Um, On attack, 50% chance to gain plus one attack power permanently. Seems pretty good. We're not going to keep you, though, is the realistic thing, though. So let's go minus attack cooldown. That's fine. Fingers we are going to keep for at least a little bit. Gain one ultimate power per, per enemy hit by ability permanently. Okay. I tend to go for the ones that um, give permanent power. 2% chance to stun. Stun's pretty strong, but like 2%, dude, are you kidding me? Every active bleed gives 20% attack power. Um, let's just make fingers more survivable, I guess. Seems like we're gonna be... I have no money. Uh, moving him towards, like, a... I hate this one. Bleeding us, rude. We're moving him towards, like, a tankier exist as long as you can build. To, uh, use your ability more often to make your ultimate more powerful. <laughs> nah. Okay, we keep giving the XP to fingers so we can get his uh, scaling ability at the get. <laughs> okay, first map down. Great. Tuesday. Moving on. 
Probably should have seen if I could spend some of my meta progress. There we go. Okay, finally we're getting somewhere. Hat coin. Shield swirl. I hate you. Swirl is kind of relevant. Hat unlocks this for you. When Gallant Knight is hit, he has a 10% chance to automatically apply blind to the source. It's pretty good. Um, I also haven't played with you, Barber Ian. So let's let's try you out. Why not? Manic laughter, haircut. You uh, you seem unhinged, and I don't know that I made a good decision by putting you in my party. You're like a melee character, right? What do you do? Gives an opponent a haircut and fails horrendously. Okay. Are your closest enemy? Sure. Goes berserk, giving everyone wild and unconventional hairstyles. Okay, you empower yourself. But you do a damage to yourself? Am I reading that correctly? All enemies will be given will be given a haircut right now. This may be interrupted by entirely unnecessary things such as walls, ponds, and our assessment rumination. Okay. Ian seems crazy. Alright, closest and whirls through enemy. Doing like a Garen spin? Is that what I'm gathering here? Ooh, you got two things unlocked already, though. Your ultimate applies bleed. And your attack applies bleed. Yeah, okay. So. Hmm. Could make it so everything you do applies bleed. Um, having this cooldown seems pretty smart. So maybe we do one of you and you, and then bleed. What happens if we make it zero cooldown? I wonder. Right, it's 12 seconds. But there's two that we can choose there. Hello, cat. Uh, okay. Let us put our melee people there. Oops. I mean, Flora's just gonna charge in, so. In fact, so is, uh, Fingers. <laughs> They're doing their thing down here and dying horribly for it. Not a great use of your ultimate, Flora. I think it's going fine, though. Okay, Ian's going crazy. Moving on. Okay. Fire and leaf. He's Louise, dude. You're killing me, eh? We simply do not care about that. Dare I reroll, though? It's probably a terrible idea. <gasps> Fire leaf heart. Or spiral shield. Dude, I hate you, fingers. Work together with your team, man. Fire leaf heart. Heart is there. I mean, I think we take the legendary or whatever the hell unit when you find it. Epic. Move on. All right. Move you here. And otherwise, I'm okay with this positioning, I think. Okay, floor is dead immediately, and you hate to see that. Are we going to die as soon as we found an epic unit? <laughs> no, I think we got this. It was close, though. It was not uh, It was not good for us. Flora, you uh, can have a minus cooldown. So you can get your ultimate off more frequently. All right, our party is full, so... We simply cannot be taking damage when most of our party is very injured. So I guess we'll do blind. Moving on. I think um, I think we're going to die very shortly, to be honest. Which is a big old bummer. But what can you do here? Okay. 
doing better than I expected. But uh, our tank died, and that's not ideal. Yeah, we're cooked. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Whoa, my God. Fingers brought it back. Well done. I thought we were dead for sure, dude. Uh, minus 0.4 move speed gives more attack range and attacks inflict root. Definitely put that on our person here. Fingers, you are a champion, my friend. Uh, we want to reduce the cooldown on your ability. Got the cat for your luck. Uh, I do think we're dead here for sure, though. If I'm being honest. But uh, hopefully that's not the case. Flora dead immediately. Not looking good. Uh oh. Finger fingers is going crazy though. Oh my goodness. The healing. On attack, apply 50% of ability power is bleed, huh? Uh that seems good for you. Get a pretty fast attack, and you got a lot of bleed-related things. Hmm. Blind seeming pretty good for our current predicament. Although ability power on you would mean that your heal is much better. Let's uh, let's make your heal much better. I think. And we could toss this onto you. Although, Shining Sword's pretty good, too. Hmm. I think I'd rather have this. And then, sure, you can have that. Oh, but then we don't have to heal. Um, I take it back. We'll just sell that. Hello, demon. I, I can't afford to take damage when half my party is almost dead. I think disaster is about to strike. Put our healers in the back. We go right there, I think. And then... You know what? Let's let's move everyone back and give them a chance to maybe heal. Okay. So far, so good, actually. Okay, we're healing up. Alright, that went splendidly. Love that. Hmm. Rose can, like, fly to the back line. Why don't we do something like this, maybe? All right. Fingers is distracting the crap out of them. Teleported in his face. All right, I think we got brought back from the brink. I'm a little excited about that. Uh, I don't care about that. Let's give that to our rarest unit. We would like her to level up as much as possible. Increasing the cooldown in your ability is not smart. Um, what's your ultimate? Your ultimate's also a heal over time. So let's reduce the, uh, the cooldown on that. What do we got here? Heal for 50% of your ability power every second. Sounds great. I'm damaging an enemy with blind. To gain 12 armor permanently. Uh, we could make you real tanky like that. After ultimate, do 48 to 66 area of effect damage. Scales with ultimate power. That's neat and all. But, uh... I don't think I care much, to be honest. Let's get your attack cooldown down. 
then we'll probably get armor next time. Don't care about that. Okay, and you can actually get to your super strong abilities. On attack, shoot lightning that bounces three times. Keep strong. All nature gains 50% of pack power. I snooze. Pet cloud applies heal over time on target for 5% of target math he max health per second. Seems very strong. Okay. And we do that on ultimate, right? So it's like, it's just making the heal over time even that much stronger, it seems. Okay, so we want to essentially get attack speed reduction so we can get our ultimate faster. And what are these? On ultimate usability. Okay. So an AoE around whoever we're, we've been healing. When pet target takes damage, target has a 25% chance of reducing attack and ability cooldown by one. I didn't even know the pet could be attacked. Um, okay, so I'm leaning towards on ultimate use usability and then heal over time. So we want to reduce our attack as much as possible, I think. So these two down here, increasing, decreasing the attack cooldown and then increasing range so we can stay even further away. Seems smart. Don't care about that. Stop trying to give it to me. <laughs> Ooh, Ice Meralda, but rare. Okay, party's full. Um, I think we absolutely need our healer. So sorry, Flora. I appreciate you, but you gotta go. Ice to meet you. Thank you. All right, and what's your deal? All spellcasters get 20% ability power, double ultimate power, double ultimate cooldown. Range is now infinite. Um, That's pretty strong. How about a 30 second cooldown though? On area effect kill, gain two attack power permanently. Your ultimate's an area effect and so is your ability. That seems like the way to go. Okay. On ability kill, use ability again. On ultimate kill, gain five ultimate power permanently. Okay, that's going to steamroll. So, hmm. I think we reduce your attack cooldown for sure. Remember that you have to use this. Continue on. Oh, boy. And mighty dangerous. You do something like this. Ice Morelda is going to use her ult instantly, which is pretty good. Seems to be going fine. We're all at full health. Easy dub. This didn't stand a chance. 19 armor, 3 crit, applies thorns that cause 7 to 10% of your max armor as retaliatory damage. That's amazing for you. Okay. Um. I think we give this to you. And then what do you have for an item? I don't know why I'm doing it this way. We can do it like this. A lot of damage. We have this on crit heal all allies, and I think that's probably going crazy. It's not. It's not at all. <laughs> uh, okay, then I guess I don't care about that. Moving on. Minus one attack cooldown on attack. Heal yourself for 20% of your attack power. Pretty good. Um, this is fantastic for you. <laughs> eh. All right. I don't see any cats. I do see a cow to tip, but I'll leave them alone. Not very nice. Okay. Three random characters have their health reduced to one and all defenders get 39 health. 
While Healer and Faith has health reduced to 1, but everyone gets 19. Um... I think that's worth it. Don't die immediately, please, Claudia. You go all the way back there, please. Okay, I think I like this. Don't kill Claudia, please. All right. I still haven't found the source of that sound. Is it the arrows being shot at me? It might be the arrows. Okay, increase your attack range. And I don't remember what I was trying to do with you, dude. I think it was reducing your attack and ability cooldown. All right. On to the next. All right, third map is usually where it gets super hard. These ultimate power is not a bad idea. What else we got, though? Ability power. More ability power. Armor that we can't get. Crit rate by 1% could be something. Ult power. Um, two percent crit is much better than one percent crit. <laughs> I'll take the ability power. I think. Sure. I did not mean to go this way. I'm very upset that I did. I just wanted to upgrade. Uh, it feels kind of stupid to not take stronger unit. But Blossom's pretty important. We'll take the, uh... Take the XP. I can't describe how upset I am that I went this way. <laughs> um, did not mean to. Yeah, it's gotta be... It's gotta be the archers making that one sound that's significantly louder than the rest. I don't have the money to re-roll, so keep giving EXP to you. All right, perfect. On ultimate usability, right? That's what we wanted. Yeah. Okay, now I think we start putting uh, potions towards Ice Merelda. Oh, uh oh, these big boys with the swords do an AOE attack. They're pretty strong. So let's split up our group a little bit. We do something like this. Okay. Yeah, he does so much damage. Seems to have worked out okay, though. I hate it. <laughs> I don't want this. Um. Do something like that, I think. That was not the correct thing to do. We've got people attacking our uh, our healers. Okay, worked out fine. I hate these big guys with the trees on their head. They're scary. Okay. I don't see any archers, so it must not be them making that noise. <laughs> uh, more attack range and your attacks inflict root. Do I care about that? Not particularly. This one could be something, though. I don't think I care about that either. Yeah, pass. Oh boy. Wish I could afford things. Do 
give everyone permanent armor. I mean, we're taking bleed either way, so I might as well give us armor. I do have concerns about our ability to survive this, though. We seem to be doing okay. There's a snail in our back line. <laughs> Hurricane. More health, more movement speed, minus attack cooldown, huh? I just don't think I care. All right, we increase your ultimate power since we want you to get ultimate kills. And for you... Yeah, sure. Every time you attack, you have a chance to get more powerful. That seems strong. Do this, this. Boom. And you're almost dead, actually, so let's put you back here. Okay, our back line... Got teleported upon, but it's fine. I don't like that we're all in cleaving range, but it worked out great. Dude, the second we fight two of them, we're so cooked. It's donezo for us. This to you. Looks like Blossom is maxed out. Gain one ultimate power per enemy hit by ability permanently. Sure. That is what we were working towards. Hello, Fox. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Ooh, a flat upgrade to Blossom. Sorry, Blossom. Had to throw you in the trash. And you're the same level. That works out great. Uh, okay, so it was attack reduction, ultimate reduction. You're not the same level. You lied to me. How dare you? And this is just a better version of... Oh, no, that's the same. <laughs> I was like, what? where did this come from? Okay. Do you not like this setup? Don't like it at all, as a matter of fact. And I have concerns. Let's remember to do this. Okay. Seems to be fine. Yeah, we cooked them. Holy. Do some good. Take any XP potion. Ain't nothing wrong with that. On ultimate kill, five ultimate power personally. Or er, personally, permanently. Ooh, I would love to have that. Can't afford it. We're so broke. That's also very strong. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, take 50% health damage, receive the Crow Medallion, which says on attack, gain one extra points towards ultimate. It's so strong. It's such a bad idea, though. It's so worth it, though. I don't feel great about that. But uh, let's continue on. Oh yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling like my decision is going to bite us. Okay. Fingers dead. Ooh, hold on. It's working out fine though. Worth. We did it at the cat. All right. Well, hammer day, that's where we're going to have to call it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. I think Sears game, it's a great game. I encourage you to check it out for yourself. Uh, it looks like there's a demo still up, so definitely try it out. And, uh, as I said, the game comes out on the 18th. I'm not sure what the pricing is, um, but I think the game is worth uh, a good amount of money. It's very replayable. As you can see, I, I played it quite a bit to unlock all this stuff. Um, and I'm having a fun time with it. I think that... Once you start getting to the groove of things, it gets like kind of nutty and you start to remember like what's going on with uh, each individual hero. I love building the synergies. The art style is great. I love the little background stuff that you can click on, especially the cats that you can pet. And uh, I think it's a neat game. I am not usually a fan of the percentage based meta progress type dealies, 
I do think it's interesting, though, that they are on a map and you can't get whatever meta progress um, is there until you actually like get there. Ooh, I also didn't realize that it changed the map up. That's pretty interesting. But yeah, you have to actually get to the spot in order to try and unlock the meta progress, which I think is pretty neat. And uh, I just think it's an interesting way to go about meta progress. So uh, yeah, let me know what you think. I really like this game. I'm a big fan. The dev are super nice people. So I encourage you to uh, support them. Wishlist the game if you're interested. It helps out devs a lot. And if you'd like to help me out a lot, I'd appreciate it greatly if you left a comment and or a like. To the devs, keep up the great work. Keep being great people. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see more from me, my name is Quantic Flux. I put out a new video every single day in my Check It Out series where I check out a new, usually roguelike, usually indie game. And if that sounds like something you'd like to see more of, I'd be happy to have you subscribed. Thank you very much for your time. I truly do appreciate it. And I hope I see you in the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.